I'm Michelle. I'm Bogd, and we're from Demystifying Medicine at McMaster. Today we're out on campus asking students if they think that going out in the cold makes you sick. Let's see what we find. So, do you think that going outside in the cold can make you sick? Yes. Not if you're bundled up. <laughs> My mom always tells me to wear a jacket, and I'm always like, oh, I'll be fine, then I always get sick. So, I'm going to say, yeah. <laughs> I think so, yeah. But I don't think you it actually took the science there. No. I think because it could like compromise your immune system somehow. If you were exposed to cold for so long that your body had to adjust and kind of change its regulations, then that might disrupt internal stuff. So like in the movie I Am Legend, Will Smith's character, he keeps like the vampire zombie lady in like cold ice like water and stuff like that so that the chemicals or whatever they... It, he uses like actually takes effect because the immune system is compromised <laughs> science <laughs> movie science uh i mean i've heard it's the changing weather i don't really know if it's true like, have you heard that yeah, yeah i hear it all the time my mom tells me that all the time she would always be like put on a jacket before you go outside put on a jacket it's cold put on the jacket we're in the middle of summer you're gonna catch a cold <laughs> Um, I don't know why, I don't know how it happens, but then at, sometimes I hear it's like a myth, so I'm really not sure, but I'll always think that you can't get sick, you get the show. Now that we've heard from some students at McMaster, let's look at the science behind this. If cold weather doesn't cause colds, then why do colds tend to peak in the winter? Colds are caused by viruses. If there aren't any viruses around, you can't catch a cold. So why do more people seem to get sick as temperatures decrease? People tend to stay indoors much more often during the winter, which in turn puts them in closer contact with more people. More people means more opportunity for viruses to spread. Humidity in the air also plays an important role in the spread of some viruses. As humidity decreases in the winter, the mucus in your nose dries out. This decreases its ability to act as a protective barrier from pathogens in the environment. Finally, because we spend more time indoors and bundled in more clothing, less skin surface area is exposed to sunlight. Our body needs sunlight to produce vitamin D, which has many important roles including the regulation of blood calcium levels. According to Arano et al., Vitamin D deficiency has been associated with an increased sensitivity to infection. Other evidence from Foxnet et al. at Yale University suggests that staying warm this winter season might keep you from getting sick. Your immune system is a network of cells that work together to protect your body. This work, published in 2016, revealed that body temperature may actually affect how your immune system responds to the common cold virus. By studying human airway cells, scientists found that infected cells died rapidly at core body temperature, preventing viral replication. In addition, they found that the enzyme that degrades viruses works best at warmer body temperatures. There are many studies currently being conducted on the factors that can increase immune function and decrease the chances of getting a cold. For example, daily exercise has a profound impact on immune function. Diet is also a key factor. Specifically, increasing vitamin A consumption can prove to be very effective in reducing illness. While being cold doesn't necessarily mean that you'll get sick, there are certainly benefits to staying warm and making sure that your body is getting all the nutrients it needs to fight infection.